Hi everyone, so today I'm trying something a little bit new and I'm actually going to try to take a video where you can see two of my hands, not only one. Uh, I tried to um, attach my camera a little bit around uh, my desk and hopefully it's going to work and I will finally be able to start maybe taking some tutorial videos and so on. So here's the hoping that I will only need to record that video once and you're actually going to see everything in it. Um, so today's video is actually just a quick video with some Christmas cards I recently found through one of my um, uh, crafty friends, Jer. Hi Jer. <laughs> I recently found through Jer a channel of a lady called Peggy. She's JP Peggy 2 and she's actually currently having a Christmas challenge whereby uh, you can make between one and five Christmas cards. You need to make a video of them, let Peggy know about it and depending on whether you make one, two, three or four or five cards you get one, two, three or four or five entries and you can win some fab um, Christmas um, stamps and some paper pads and so on so always useful the stamps, the stamps are really lovely I'll um, provide you with a link to, to the challenge video uh, below in the description box so you can have a look yourself and, and I'm sure you'll agree with me that the prizes are really beautiful so I actually only found out about that uh, challenge recently, uh, that would be yesterday, <laughs> and it's been on for like five or six weeks, so I would imagine now. Um, it's actually finishing tomorrow, so I knew I wouldn't have a lot of time to uh, to um, make the cards, that's why they're quite simple cards. Now I do apologize for the little bell in the background, that's my cat, um, <laughs> but coming back to the topic. Five very very simple Christmas cards. So please do not expect any um, huge artwork here. I tried to make a lot, make them fast, and I just really wanted to enter the challenge and be in the chance to win the fab prizes. So they are very very simple cards. So the first card, let me just find it, is uh, this. So as you can see, literally just a green card base with my stamp on the back and uh, some bubbles and so on. So the two bubbles were actually cut out from a design paper. It was a page full or a sheet full of these. I cut them out and I just created ornaments on the card out of them and then used some gold thread, thread um, from um, my cross stitch times to just create those little two bows. Now I have to say that was a bit of a challenge to do this because if you've ever used those golden threads you probably know they're quite stiff and it doesn't really want to work with you so making them into both was quite a bit of a challenge but hey I made it then just a little bit of a uh, sentiment um, and then I punched the little Christmas tree here because I thought some, it needed a little bit something so for now this is what the card looks like if I need to kind of personalize it or add a bit of more embellishments to it I probably will do so later on my second card is this one and it features a magnolia stamp now this is actually i think not a christmas magnolia stamp it's more of a kind of birthday yeah i would imagine it's more of a birthday one because she's kind of blowing the dust and 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 wishing you all the best but i thought why not making it christmasy so i actually made a very similar card uh, a few weeks back so i added her clothes in christmasy colors green and red and obviously a bit of sparkle added to it and made it straight away into a Christmas card. So just again a simple sentiment, a bit of a die cut here, a bit of bling here and there. There's a green mirror card here, I hope you can see that. And this is my card number two. Now card number three, even simpler, is actually featuring stamps that I got last year and I completely forgot about. So thank you very much Peggy for the challenge, you made me uh, remember about stamps I have never used before. Now there's actually four stamps in that set but I only used three of them here. Again a bit of a mirror card um, in the back here and sentiment and a little star here. Super simple card now I'll probably add a bit of embellishments maybe a bit of ribbon or something else to it later on. Um, but yeah it's a Christmassy card for sure. And then the last two cards actually a bit of a surprise for me even. Now I got the 3D decoupage sets probably around three years ago or so when I was kind of starting card making and I didn't really know yet what I wanted to do with it. I didn't know what kind of techniques to use and so on and my mum actually got them for me in Poland 
in Chiba, which is a coffee shop, but they sell a lot of stuff like Aldi or Lidl. They they have a lot of those kind of seasonal um, sales for only a, uh, a while. And they had those decoupage sets, and my mom said, hey, why don't you have a look at these? These look awesome. And I really liked the idea of them, but then I kind of thought I didn't really want to do them. So I had the set for a long, long time. And I remembered about it yesterday, and I thought, you know what, it probably will be a brilliant idea to do that for Peggy's challenge, as it's going to go quite fast to make these. Well, the Santi wasn't that fast, but as you can see, there's quite a lot of detail in them, and it did took a bit of fiddling and playing around, and getting used to the whole 3D decoupage um, idea, but I think the result is quite neat. It's a very colourful card. I have a few little um, uh, girls in the family, and ch children in general, but they are actually girls, um, so I might send it over to the families with little kids. I think it would be a very cute little card and colourful and bright so for kids it's probably very nice and the second a little bit simpler the stocking but again I think it's quite nice and neat um, and yeah it's quite impressive actually that I managed to make five cards like that in, the, in one evening and uh, now I did I do have to say now this girl I did have her coloured and that exact actually layout I've made a very similar card recently so that was just a bit of a recreation of this card because I actually gave away to a friend the card that I made originally but these ones I mean they're super simple super fast it's, I surprised myself that I can do four cards in one evening but it was possible so Peggy I hope you like the cards whoever is watching the video I hope you found some inspiration for super quick cards if you wake up a few days before Christmas and decide you need to make cards there you go you never know if you find it in your stash you might find something actually that you can make cards of in a super speedy way so Good luck everyone who's entering into the challenge. Now good luck to me as well. <laughs> there is actually five prizes, so I'm very happy to share a prize with someone if I win. As in, there will be five of us, so I I will not be greedy if I say that I wish some luck to myself as well. Um, well, whether I win or not, I'm a winner here anyways, because I've got five Christmas cards already, ready for postage in December. That's always brilliant. So Peggy, thank you one more once again for, for your challenge, for the lovely prizes. And I hope to watch more of your videos soon. And yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully that video will work and I will be able to take some more videos where I can finally create stuff live. Thank you. Bye-bye.